Good morning, dear friends. I've just been blessed with the most wonderful gift from friends of a five day free holiday week at a beautiful home right on the beach at Mzumbi on the south coast. As many of you are probably aware, the sunrises there at this time of the year are quite stunning, but so too are the night stars. And in particular, Venus, also known as the morning star and the evening star, is the second brightest natural object in our night sky after the moon. And as you can see in this slide, it's clearly visible above the horizon. And I noticed that at night it was there and in the morning when I woke up to watch the sunrise, there it was again. And during this time of just gazing in awe at God's creation, the Holy Spirit put on my mind the question of God as creator of the light and as our light in the world and how in these times this concept of lightness is so important to us in the midst of the darkness of the COVID pandemic. I'm not sure about you, but I have a frequent sleeping problem. I go to sleep without much of a problem. And then within four or five hours, I wake up again. And the moment I wake up, my mind becomes filled with thoughts. And inevitably those thoughts are negative thoughts. They're thoughts about things I should have done or need to do or haven't done or what's going to happen if I get ill or why didn't I say sorry to so-and-so and so it goes on and it's just a time when Satan seems to find his way into your thoughts and create negative destructive thoughts and so I've learned over the years as I've got older to use this time to immediately turn to God and to use it as a time to commune with him and speak to him. But I'm not going to go into details about that now. What I want to share with you is the message about God as creator of light and dark. Often we make the mistake of associating darkness with evil, badness and all that is wrong. But we forget that in Genesis 1, 14 to 19, we are told how God created the light together with the darkness. And in Genesis 1, 31, that he was happy with what he had created. So the darkness doesn't belong to Satan, it belongs to God. And like Venus, the evening and morning star, God is there with us all through the darkness of night, just as he is with us in dark times of our lives and our world, if we turn to him as the one and only light. So in the unease of the darkness, we must always remember he is there. He created that darkness to provide a time of rest for us, to provide a time for us to seek his light of reassurance and peace. So even in life's daily dips and darknesses, he's always there. And because there are times when we may be overwhelmed with fear and uncertainty, there is a need for strength beyond ourselves, beyond our loved ones, beyond our leaders. And so he uses these times to allow us to either grow closer to him or grow away from him. In Psalm 27, 1, we read, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? He is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And in Psalm 139, 12, even the darkness will not be dark. The night will shine like the day, for the darkness is like light to you, God. To God, darkness is not dark, because he created it for good purpose, to rest us and the world, and to test our love for and trust in him. It is only Satan that tries to turn darkness into fear and evil, and so in these difficult times, where many of us fear that we, we are walking through the valley of the shadow of death and anxiety is rife, if we focus on our one and only true light, God, then even the darkness will not be dark. And we need not fear evil because his rod and his staff 
will comfort us. Never underestimate God's power over Satan. In Colossians 1, we read, For he was rescued, he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the dominion of the Son he loves. And in Luke 10, verse 18, Jesus tells us, He saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Through his death on the cross, Jesus has given us all the power to overcome the enemy. Never forget that. And so let's, let us pray. Most merciful and indescribable God, we come to you on this beautiful morning with the wonderful assurance of knowing that in you there is life and that life is the light of all mankind that always shines in the darkness. Help us to appreciate just how imperative it is that we comprehend this fact and never cease to acknowledge it. Thank you that through the sacrifice of your Son, our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, we have overcome the evil and chaos that Satan tries to infuse in the world during dark times. Thank you as we, are, we face the uncertain times ahead where these negative forces create fear and anxiety in so many ways that we can look to you, the light, and know that you will bring us through it into the brightness of your kingdom. Thank you that when the, these fears tug at our hearts and minds, we can turn to you and reach towards the sunlight of your profound love, mercy and grace, and know that you will respond to us. May we remember that your grace is made sufficient to us because, of your, because, because your power is made perfect in our very weakness. As we prepare for what threatens to be even more difficult and challenging weeks ahead of us, we know that you created darkness not only for us to find rest, but also for us to find you more clearly. That you are there waiting to lift us out of the caverns of our fears, doubts and challenges. Help us to find your absolute truth in the midst of a world of disinformation and misinformation. Surround us with your surety, Lord, and cleanse us with the impurity of, of negativity that is abounding in the world at the moment. Protect all those we love and pray for, beloved Lord Jesus. Surround us with your full armour so that we can take a firm stand against the devil's schemes and forces of evil that threaten us and our loved ones. Protect us from this virus and all those we work, who work in healthcare facilities. Protect our families. Thank you for their courage and commitment, Jesus. Protect our friends. Please be with our children as they return to school. Keep them safe and ease the huge strain of worry from the shoulders of their parents and grandparents. May our country's resources continue to hold out against the impending demands that will be made against it. May our economy withstand the terrible battering it has received for so long. May our leaders be courageous and honest, Lord, and start, stand not for political or personal gains, but for what is good and right in our country. We especially pray at this time for our Chief Justice Mukweng Mukweng, who is under particular attack at present, for standing up for you. Thank you for his courage and the wonderful example he sets as a Christian who puts you above all things. Keep him safe, Lord. May those wicked people who have used these precious times to exploit the weak and impoverished receive their full punishment at your hands. May we ultimately find peace in a new and united South Africa, where the pandemic is destroyed, gender-based violence, racism, corruption, corruption, greed and arrogance give way to respect for women, celebration of our diversity, our integrity, and a deep and serving humility. And we ask this all in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.